could be an outstanding matchup as we feature an Eastern Conference versus Western Conference match. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. Fires it on net. Big time save of the one-timer. Quick feed to Jersey. And that counts off one of his teammates in front. Takes the pass. Passes it over. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. On the sequence of saves, I love how strong he is in his set positioning here, James. You can see that he gets square to the shooter, and that makes the second save easier. Moves around along the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Dursey. Buffalo's looking to break out of their own end. Slides it across to Quinn. Beats it over on the attack. Oh, a clutch save! And he cuts up big again. Another save! That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to tie up another gear, and they have done that here. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Play is called for offside. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Utah's got control of it now from their own end. One on one with the goaltender! and get in on the breakaway, James, and that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Utah's been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Uh, there's so many mini-games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one. And they have certainly dominated in that area. And that when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace. And that's exactly what they wanted to do and send a strong message to their away opponent that when you come into our barn, you're not going away with the W. Kick pass to Gunther. Here we go. On me and rush here. Scores! Off the one timer up. Well, he's set up with a perfect pass. When he gets lost in coverage, gets all of that one. Perfect weight transfer and executes with a beauty. But you know he's worked a lot on this in practice because his hands are an extension of his body here, James. He knows how to manipulate his opponent. He dangles his way to the net, and he doesn't miss. Still lots of time left in the period. Utah's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And they win that neutral zone draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Denies him in front. You see goaltenders working on reaction time all the time. Why? For shots like this, you just have to react. It's instincts that make the save. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Offense is on base off, and he wins the draw. Oh, tremendous reflexes as he turns aside the one-timer. Wow. The Sabres come up with the defensive zone draw. Receives the pass. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Cole. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And that's a great heads up play by Cole. Utah has been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. We've got to find a way to generate some offense. And the puck's kicked free. And now it's grabbed by Kesselring. Strong defensive effort. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Greenway. Puts it on net. 
Moves it quickly over to O'Brien. Keeps possession. They put the puck into the offensive end. Angles it over to McLeod. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Puck picked up by O'Brien. Carries it across the line. Feeds it down low. Dishes it off. Stopped by the goaltender. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Past the midway mark of the frame, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. They win the draw and go on the attack. Steps in front of the shot. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Picked up along the boards by Cousins. Moves it to Paterka. Too much traffic in the lane. Puck picked up by Paterka. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Sabres gain possession in their own end. And the puck's knocked loose. And he slides it quickly to Benson. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves the puck over to Kraus. Makes his presence known on the ice. Utah's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Into the corner now. Handles the puck. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Buffalo's counterpunched here in the first period, and they're right back into it. Well, yeah, you can look at the game in different bunches, and this one is certainly going to mean something, resetting and finding a way to create some much-needed offense. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Utah's on the attack. Buffalo's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Grabs the puck. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Blows him up on that hit. Now a quick pass to Schmaltz. From the point, looks to make something happen. He scores! Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. In the final moments of this period, Utah's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. And now it's over to McBain. And a poke check knocks the puck away. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the nut. Here's a short pass to Lafferty. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Denies him on the play. Ingram's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards. Oh, relentless pressure, and they come up with the turnover. Quick snap! Oh, stick save and a few. Utah's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Fires away! They score! And it's back-to-back -back tallies! Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum.
We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position, net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time it winds up in the back of the net. Utah's built themselves a large lead, and there are still more than two periods to play here. O'Brien's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Great hits up play with the stick by Darlene. Takes the feed. Utah's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick feed to Stenlin. That's blocked by Lukanen. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Utah's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. O'Brien's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. With possession along the wall. Handles the pass. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. And with the buzzer, that puts the ball on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. The Sabres 
have got one back, but they need a lot more now. Can they build on this? They have to build on this. They have to be harder on the puck, and they cannot chase the game. They have to find a way to get it on their stick, and when they do, they've got to get shots to net. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Zucker. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Nick Baines feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Here comes the call to the official. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they gotta kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Tonight, another big face-off here on this power play. Schmaltz wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Scooped up along the wall by Michelli. Knocked away. Trying to dump it out. They get it done. Utah's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Schmaltz. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Gives them nothing in front. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Cousins is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Buffalo's won the face-off deep in their own end. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Tries to feed it over to Kraus. The Sabres haven't been good tonight, James. I mean, that's pretty clear and simple by the scoreboard right now. The only good thing is they have half a game left to really turn the clock and find a way to get back in it. Moves the puck across to Kerfoot. On the attack along the boards. Samuelson's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded as he joins the kill. Greenway's almost out of the box. Snagged with the glove by Ingram. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Kerfoot. Jocelyn to the puck and he loses control. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. The Sabres look to start the transition game. Enters the offensive zone from the left. The center team! And that's stopped! Sends a pass over. Utah's gained the line and into the zone. The Sabres take possession in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to Lafferty. There's an injection of energy with that hit. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Stenlin. Loses the coverage there. Buffalo's got the puck in their own end. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Right on the doorstep. Save by Ingram. Takes the puck deep inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Michelli. Feeds the puck to Schmaltz. Michelli's going to play it against the half wall. Slides the puck to Byron. And it's a quick pass to Tuck. And we've got an offside with a face off looming. the midway mark in this period. Utah's got a 5-2 lead. And they'll start with possession. Slides it across! Stops him cold! 
Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Centers glide into the dot as a faceoff, ready to resume play. Utah's won the draw. Coughs up the puck after that hit. And that slides right out to center ice. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Utah's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Michelli. Penalty coming up. And he moves it up to Cole. And that goes off a player. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Guilty Harden's going on for two minutes here. Four to the call. Trust me, I know, I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Fires it, and it comes up with the save. Slides it quickly to Benson. Slides the puck over. Utah's got possession of the puck. Buffalo's looking to break out of their own end. The Sabres will play it from the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Cousins. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he he's got a chance. On a breakaway. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And that doesn't reach the net. Complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Utah's got the puck against the half wall. Shuts him down. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Utah's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. O'Brien's won the draw there on the attack. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Quick feed to 
top. Takes the shot. Ingram's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Utah's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Buffalo's got it, and they're on the attack. Scores! And a little sign of life here on the ice as they try to get back into it. Yeah, a little bit of a momentum swing right here, and now they've got a lyric, which means they've got to have that next shift where they attack and have the mindset to drive the net. Let's see if it's sustainable now. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry and you skate in practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. Buffalo's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. For the two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Lots of time left in this period. Buffalo still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Utah's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. From the open ice, they gain the line. And that's broken up. Slides the puck across to Kraus. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And he takes the feed. The Sabres have it from their own end. Cousins plays it into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Paterka. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Kraus. And he slides it quickly to Marino. Utah's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Power. Takes the pass. And he dodges the puck check there. Shot with the stop. Ingram's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Fugue stabs won it in their own end. Loose puck battle along the boards. Utah's got a hold of it against the wall. Hooked away by Fugue Shot. What a save by Ingram. Moves it quickly over to Fugue Takes a shot. More than half the period left to play. 5-3 is where we sit. Bumstad's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Levi. Moves at the top. Back to the point it goes. Chase with a drop. Fantastic save. Ingram's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. Good read with the stick to break that up. Here's a short pass to Cole. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Kerfoot. Well, that didn't look good, James. I mean, he is still on the ice and is going to need medical attention. That was just a huge hit, and he was on the wrong end of it. Let's have another look at that hit there, James. I mean, he looks shaken up. getting some assistance here by the medical staff, James, and this is a tough one to watch as he makes his way down the tunnel to the locker room where he'll be assessed. He's just hopping there. He can't put any weight on that one leg. Cheryl, I'm not a doctor, and I will say this, though. It is very evident that this is a leg injury, and he is going to need some medical attention here. Shot! And there's the save. Glide 
of the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Sabres win that offensive zone faceoff. Scores! The captain delivers! This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone faceoff, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Buffalo's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Quick feed to Jersey. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Now a quick pass to Molenston. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Utah's looking to break out. Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. And he slides it quickly to Schmaltz. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Sabres have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. And it's a quick pass to Byron. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And they come up with possession off that battle. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And now he moves it quickly to Sergachev. Takes the feet at the back end. Can't maintain possession. Pass across to Obey Kubel. And that's broken up. Passes it over. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Michelli's got it along the boards. Buffalo's got control of it now from their own end. From the right side, they gain the zone. Picked up by Schmaltz. Well, that play didn't go his way, James. He tried a little bit too much there. When you're trailing the game, I get you want to try and do a little bit extra and try and create some offense. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. Shot! That's gloved by Levi. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. A critical draw here. Utah's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked from someone in front. From one point man to another. Takes the shot. Scores! And look at this. Here we go. They have answered back. Well, they've responded exactly the way the coach and team wanted. To be able to get back on the board, get momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact. We're ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Third to the front, and it's blocked. Looks to get the puck over to power. Gains the zone along the right wall. Here's a shot. Cross to Kraus. Buffalo's got the puck. Quick pass to Cousins. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Sabres looking against the half wall. Utah's got the puck. McBain's lugging the puck. Great read by Paterka. Tremendous sacrifice laying out to block it. When your team's leading in the third period, it's those types of plays that get you the recognition. You're sacrificing your body to take away the shot lane. That's great work. 
Utah's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Sabres take possession here in the open ice. Taken by Byron. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Takes a shot, makes the save with the trapper. McLeod's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Cole. Buffalo's trailing, that's why they've got the extra. Oh, stopped it, what a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Wide open net, and it misses! The Sabres gain possession at their own end. Gives them a jolt with that hit. Ingram's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Rocks him. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Utah's quick start. Clearly the difference in this one, Cheryl, as they get all their offense in the first. They get their offense in the first, and then they protect the lead the rest Sometimes this can bite you and go the other way when you play too defensive, but they play it safe and they keep the lead. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm Jan Sabalski, and we will see you next time from Ringside.